Hello everybody, this is uh, Patrick Montes de Oca with the VC Price Momentum Indicator. I want to take the opportunity on this report to review from an educational perspective the application of this innovative proprietary trading tool. The VC Price Momentum Indicator, automated futures trading systems were designed to do everything for you. The proprietary model incorporates Elliott Wave, Fibonacci, Vedic, and Western mathematical principles to monitor cycles and identify volatility, momentum, and patterns. Subscribers are automatically provided with entry points, trailing stops, levels, and profit objectives. It has taken years of back and forward testing to verify the accuracy and consistency of the system. And we are proud to finally be able to offer this truly remarkable trading tool to the financial community at large. The VC Price Momentum Indicator Systems is based on several well-supported phenomena, including Fibonacci ratios. The very fact that everybody in the trading world is aware of such ratios and expects them causes mob behavior in reaction when such levels are reached, which lead to a self-fulfilling prophecy. The VC price momentum indicator are a subset of support and resistance levels. This special form of projected support, demand, and resistance, supply, form the basic methodology used by the VC Daily Price Momentum Indicator Proprietary Algorithm. The basis for defining expectations for tomorrow's trading are the historical support and resistance levels. Using these prices as an input for our proprietary algorithm produces the most powerful anticipated buy or sell levels for tomorrow's trading session called the VC Daily Price Momentum Indicator. Our system can then extrapolate how far the market is likely to move up or down from the VC code levels in the preceding session. The first projected anticipated level of resistance supply above the code level is called Cell 1 or S2. The next higher calculated resistance levels are Cell 2 or S2. Similarly, the first level of projected support demand is by 1, B1. Under the VC code level, the next lower levels of support is by 2, B2. During the upcoming trading session, unless the price action is influenced by unprecedented outside forces such as an economic report or news or model, our model will revert to its mean between these calculated points. In general, if today's price action starts above the VC code level, it will tend to stay above the VC code also called the daily pivot point, average price, or mean of the day's activity. Under such circumstances, resistance will be met at price level S1. Should S1 be broken, further resistance will be expected at S2. The story is reversed if the price action is below the VC code level support will be met at price level B1. Should B1 be broken, further support will be expected at B2. If after starting the day above the VC code, the price cause crosses through the VC code price and closes above that price, the VC code then will act as a support area. The VC code points and levels are support and resistance levels and behave exactly like any historical supply and demand level. 
Therefore, the VC code levels are useful as an index for both day trading and for selecting and exercising entries and exits for long-term traders. To take a closer look at some specific strategies, let's take a look at a theoretical look at some simple trade trading methodology employing the VC daily codes. First fundamental rule. If you are day trading after the opening, wait first 30 minutes to one hour. If the price action trades above or below the VC code, the price action will tend to remain above or below the VC code for the rest of the session. Although this rule bids us to wait out the opening range and thereby avoid much of the wildness and whipsawing, of a look in the next fundamental rule of the VC code could be disastrous. Second fundamental rule, trading after market opens or later trades at extremes S1, S2, or B1, B2, would exhibit a higher tendency to trade back towards the VC code, mean. Therefore, the general rule is avoid buying the high supply or selling the low demand which becomes increasingly more stringent as the price moves further away from the code. Our algorithm identifies the highest probability trades when the price reaches the extreme of the mean above or below, or when the VC code level identifies the price to be at the highest probable point to execute a trade. Third fundamental rule. If the market closes below the B2 or above the S2, it signifies that the trend is beginning to change and the price pattern may be shifting to the next price fractal, inverting resistance to support and vice versa. Our oversimplified system has started to define set limits, enabling us to either buy or sell above or below the VC daily code. We also have roughly begun to define a basis for determining entry exit and safety stop rules. The methods that these few theoretical ideas suggest are still a long way from a perfect system. Nonetheless, there are those who actually do successfully trade the VC daily price momentum indicator using just these few simple rules. Good luck and good trading. And once again, this is Patrick Montes Dioca, CEO for the Equity Management Academy.